Hello everyone. Welcome back to E classes of Statistics Standard 11. In this video we are going to begin new topic that is Bolli's method. We already have studied about the formulas of Bolli's method. Let us revise that formulas again. In a skewed frequency distribution, quartiles Q1 and Q3 are not equidistant from median M. So, they are taken out with the help of the formula. Skewness is equals to Q3 minus M minus M minus Q1. That means skewness is equals to Q3 plus Q1 minus 2M. This way, skewness can be taken out with the help of Bolli's method. Now, coefficient of skewness with the help of Bolli's method. Let's see that formula. So, coefficient of skewness that means j is equals to q3 minus m minus m minus q1 upon q3 minus m plus m minus q1. That means j is equals to q3 plus q1 minus 2m upon q3 minus q1. Where j is greater than or equals to minus 1 and less than or equals to positive 1. So, these are the formulas with the help of which we are going to solve sums. Let's solve the sums related to Bolli's method from exercise 5.2. Let's read the sum number 1 of exercise 5.2 of your textbook. From the following frequency distribution of different youngsters exercising in a gymnasium, find coefficient of skewness by Bolli's method and state the type of skewness. Here you can see age is given, number of youngsters that is frequency is given. This is a discrete data sum. So for Bolli's method, first we need to find Q1, Q3 and median. And for that we have to arrange all these discrete data in ascending order. So let's solve the sum and be more clear. So here we have prepared the table. Here you can see we have written age and frequency. Here we have arranged the age in ascending order. 17, 18, 20, 22, 23, 25, 26, 28. And in front of that frequency we have written. In front of 17 the frequency is 4. In front of 18 the frequency is 11. In front of 20, the frequency is 19. As we have arranged in ascending order, the frequency will also change according to the age. Now, for first we will find cumulative frequencies. That means, we will keep on adding the frequency. First, first will be 4. That will be as it is. 4 plus 11 will give you 15. 15 plus 19 will give you 34. 34 plus 9 is 43. 43 plus 8 is 51, 51 plus 22 is 73, 73 plus 7 is 80, 80 plus 3 is 83. And with that we got the total of frequency that is n is 83. So now we are first finding first quartile that is Q1 as it's a discrete data. The formula for Q1 will be n plus 1 upon 4 and is 83. So, 83 plus 1 upon 4, that gives you 21st observation. Now, you have to see in the column of CF, where does 21st, 21 observation lies. 21 observation lies here in 34 and in front of that, your variable is 20. So, referring to the column of CF, Q1 is 20. So, the value of Q1 is 20. Now, let's find median and quartile 3. Now, let's find median. The formula for median will be n plus 1 upon 2. That means 83 plus 1 upon 2. That gives you 42 observation. Here in the column of CF, you have to check where does 42 observation lies. It lies here. And in front of that, your variable x is 22. So, your median is 22. Now, let's find Q3. So, the formula for third quartile Q3 will be 3 and plus 1 upon 4. That means 3, 83 plus 1 upon 4. That means 3 into 21. That becomes 63rd observation. Now, referring to the column of CF, where does 63rd observation lies? 
it lies here in 73 and in front of that your variable x is 25 so q3 is 25 years now we have taken out the value of q1 median and q3 now let's put in the formula and find skewness so as per the question we need to find coefficient of skewness by Bolli's method and the formula for j that means coefficient of skewness by Bolli's method is q3 plus q1 minus 2 median upon q3 minus q1 so we have all three values we have the value of q1 we have the value of q3 we have the value of median we'll put in the formula and we'll find the coefficient of skewness so q3 is 25 q1 is 22 into 22 that means 2 into median median is 22 upon 25 minus 20 now this gives you 25 plus 20 gives you 45 and 2 into 22 gives you 44 25 minus 20 gives you 5 so 45 minus 44 upon 5 that is 1 by 5 and that becomes 0 0.2 so your j is 0 0.2 as coefficient of skewness is 0.2, so the given frequency distribution is positively skewed. So here we are done with the sum number 1. Go through the sum, revise it properly. Thank you.